All right, welcome back to another episode of our new launch review series with Gavin and myself. Today, we're taking you to one of the blockbuster launches in the Outram Chinatown district, which is Wan Po Bang. And we are standing at the actual site itself. I'll show you the site model and he'll show you the bedroom layout. So Kenneth has already done a studio shoot, so if you have not already watched that, you can click the link in the description below. We go a bit more in-depth into the pricing and the layout comparisons. Right over here, we're just going into the show flat, so why not, let's go take a look inside. Let's go! One, on level two, you actually have height advantage. based on your current uh, property portfolio, what is the level of risk? Alright, and here we are at the site model itself. We're going to share with you about the facilities, the design, how the facade and how Capital Land has conserved the initial project that was on block, which was Pearl Bank Apartments. So during the studio review, I shared that Pearl Bank Apartments was one of the iconic developments in Singapore. It was shaped like a horseshoe. When the time came for it to be on block, there was a big commotion in the community in terms of whether the building should be conserved or should the building be on block. Eventually, what happened was Capital Land won the bid to on block Pearl Bank Apartments. So if you see from the facade itself, what they have done is they've gotten two architects, which is Siri Architects and Multiply Architects. So it is a joint collaboration between two architects, one based in UK and one based in Singapore. They designed this very iconic kind of design. It includes a sky oculus on the 39th floor. So this eventually will become one of the tallest residential buildings standing at about 178 meters in the Outram Chinatown district. So now we are standing right at the entrance if you are familiar with this area, the main road is going to be right in front. So there's going to be a short drive coming into Pearl Bank and it's located slightly on a hill. So the project is going to be elevated about 21 meters above ground level. Let's have a look at the entrance area. So eventually when you're going to come in, there's going to be a roundabout and a drop-off area. On the side towards here, this would be actually where the pedestrian access gate is. So there's going to be a sheltered walkway all the way to Ultram MRT station. So Ultram MRT station is going to be located along this area. One Pearl Bank is backed by Post Hill City Park and SGH is going to be on this side of the project. Over here, the units have a generally north-south kind of facing. This tower over here is going to be facing north and units on this side are going to be facing towards the north side of Singapore. And then on this side, it's going to be facing towards the south. So for Wampo Bank, they have clinched a couple of awards in terms of like landscape excellence, design excellence, because you can see that the architects have put in a lot of thought into blending the landscape of Wampo Bank together with the Post Hill City Park. So Post Hill City Park is eventually also going to be, be revamped according to the master plan. They are going to link Post Hill City Park all the way to Fort Canning. Alright, so let's have a look at the Sky Allotment Gardens and what it actually is. So basically, it's the world's first concept within a residential project itself and it's going to be cantilevered at every four levels within the one pole bank. So, as you can see from this picture, the gardens will be protruding outwards. So I think what is good about this concept is also for residents that are concerned about water seepage to the floor below. There wouldn't be an issue because below that is actually another sky allotment garden. So that would take care of that concern. Basically, every sky allotment garden, there'll be plots. Residents can grow their own crops and vegetables for their own personal consumption. They also got like different plant depth so they can grow different size of trees. So just located over here, you also have a pets park. A rest Residents can bring their pets and mingle with one another. Another thing to note is also where the afternoon and morning sun comes up, which is important for many families. So based on the north direction over here, the west would be from this side, so afternoon sun and morning sun. Basically, the units don't really get any direct morning or afternoon sun. Do note that during different seasons of the year, the sun does shift. So certain units may experience some slight morning and afternoon sun depending again on the period of the year. So if you just head over here, I think what's also very interesting is that they have designed a glass encased lifts. 
So if you just take a look at this side, as you take the lift all the way up to the 39th floor, you're going to be able to enjoy the views while heading up to your house or the sky terraces and even on the other tower as well. Right over there, also two glass and case lifts, which I think is something that's very unique, especially within a residential project in Singapore. Okay, so now we're here at the one bedder type unit. So just before we head inside, for the one bedder type, they are 527 and 570 square foot type of layouts. They are internal facing, means some of them, they get the pool view. If you are looking at the quantum wise, you're looking at about 1.3 plus million region. And if you kind of want to lower that quantum, uh, the lowest quantum here are the studio type of units. Those are 431 square feet. And those are going at about 1.1 plus million onwards. But do take note, a lot of the units have already been taken up as of today. There are still some units that are remaining for the studio and the one bidder type. So if that's what you're looking for, you should come down to the show flat itself and take a look because they are going to be off the market very soon. So now let's take a look at the inside. So I, as we come inside the one bidder unit, you'll notice that it's a very small walkway entrance. So I think that's very space efficient. Right away, you see over here, so these are actual provisions, meaning that these are actual ID treatment work that will come together with the unit. I think this is really nice because all this wood type of laminate finish and the switches are also kind of flushed in together with the design of the home. And then right over here on the left side, we have our distribution board. So this one is quite a good space inside. So definitely you can double up as a shoe rack and for you to put extra storage space inside here as well. So as we come in closer into the unit, we come to our open kitchen concept. This is called the Ernesto Meda Open Kitchen kind of dining table concept. So it comes together with this very unique swivel table as well. This comes together with the unit as indicated here, actual provision. So this one is really cool because it can double up as a small breakfast table or it can be a fully functional type of three-seater dining table. Definitely very efficient use of space over here. So just to demonstrate this. Yeah, so there's a lever over here so you can kind of just change the position depending on how many people are having dinner together with you. If you want, you can definitely double up as like a three or four seater. You can just keep that in as well if you are just having like a quick breakfast before you head out. So these are top and bottom cabinet so this is a plenty of storage space for you to put your woks and pans and your utensils and stuff like that it comes together with this kind of engineered towel finish at the top as well and it blends in really well together with the sink over here so this is like one whole piece goes together with your backboard as well it's a really seamless design and it ties in really nicely together with the wooden finishes appliances wise you got your oven you got the electrical cooker hob and the cooker hood so there's something i noticed about this cooker hood there's this kind of tempered glass panel over here so i think this one is really smart because it prevents sort of the oil and stuff to get stuck in the ventilation you can just kind of slide this out and you can just wash that portion and there's good ventilation for your kitchen space as well. Then right over here, also very nicely tucked away. This is our fridge and of course the freezer. Okay, now as we head over to the other side, this one can double up as like a vanity top area or of course a study area if you want. I think there's really great amount of space over here. Very flexible depending on what you want to use it for. This can also become another like a small entertainment zone if you want. So of course this one comes with a smart home feature as well. This smart mirror, this one can just be switched on and off extra lighting for this entire space over here. If you want, you can play like music and stuff as well while you're cooking up dinner or you're doing your work and stuff like that. So now we head in into the main living space. So I think for the one bedroom concept, why some people prefer to pay a bit more over the studio type of units because this one bedroom concept gets that separation from your bedroom space and your living room space. So if you are hosting guests over, they don't need to come into your bedroom space as well. So space-wise, they have also fitted in like this marble table over here and a two-seater couch. So size-wise, definitely if you want to fit, you can still fit in a very comfortable size three-seater or even an L-shape type of sofa. So now we head into the balcony space. So the balcony space will come together with this aluminum glass doors. And then right out here, you have your glass railings. So together with these glass railings and the aluminum glass doors over here, I think that provides very good ventilation as well as a very good view depending on the unit stacks that you are selecting. It provides this full view towards the outside of the project. And of course, the one bedders are the interior facing and the studio units are the ones that are exterior facing. The north facing units, those are facing 
towards the Perth Hill City Park and for the south facing units, those have the sea view and also the view of the entire central business district. Okay, so this one over here is optional as well. Depending if you want to input this into the unit, it allows really great ventilation and lighting to still come through the unit at the same time providing the privacy for your home. Of course, this has to be borne by the purchaser and these are the only approved types of balcony screens for the unit. So now let's head back in. So now we head into our master bedroom. Of course, it comes together with this timber swing door. And right over here, we have our laminated sliding door wardrobe over here. So this is full height and this is laminated with like a leather kind of texture finish. You got your LED lighting inside as well. So right now we have a queen size setup with space for two side tables as well. So I think the space in here is very comfortable. Let's head back outside. So for the bedrooms and the living room space actually come together with this porcelain towel. They will come together with this LED downlight. So I think everything has already been provided for you in this unit itself. All the appliances and the ID treatment, most of it has already been done up for you and ready for you to just pack your stuff, move in some furniture and this is really great. Even if you want to kind of rent it out, I think there's not much work to be done with the house. You can just straight away just rent it out as it is. So before we head out to the two bedroom, we just need to touch a bit on the bathroom area over here. So this one is right nearer to the entrance. So I think that's really great because this one does not directly face into your main living space and your bedroom space. It's kind of tucked away together with your kitchen area. Also porcelain tile finishes on the flooring and on the walls as well. On the countertop, it's a similar concept. So the kitchen area, you have this nice engineered towel that combines together really nicely with your sink over here. It's like one whole piece as well. You have your sliding type of wardrobe space. So there's a great amount of space in there for you to put your towels and stuff. And then right over here is our shower space with the glass door. So space-wise, I think it's still a very comfortable amount of space. Right in here comes together with your rain shower and as well as a handheld shower, depending on which one is your preference. There's also storage space. One pocket over here, three glass panels also for you to put more of your soap and stuff like that. So now let's head out to the two bedroom unit and check that out. So now let's take a look at the inside of the two bedroom unit. But before we take a tour around the interior of the house, just to share a bit more and break it down on what we have here. We have a few different layouts. The first layout is a two bed, one bath type, the 700 square foot layout which is the one we are in right now if you want two bathrooms the two bed two bath layout those are at the 743 square foot layout and the 800 plus square foot layout the difference is 700 plus square foot type of layouts they have the dumbbell layouts and the 800 plus square foot type of layouts they have the living room and the dining area tucked at one side and then your bedroom all on the other side so it depends really on what you're looking for over here right now there still is availability on all these three types of the two bedder layout. So this one over here itself is the 700 square foot layout, two bed, one bath. So let's take a look. Again, very nice space saving feature over here. You don't have a huge walkway entrance. I think it's a very functional use of the space. Similar ID treatments, wooden panels has been done up. Nice flush engineered towels, and of course, plenty of wardrobe space over here. And this one is really great because if you want, I think this layout, you can still sort of do up like a glass sliding door or a door feature if you prefer an enclosed kitchen type of concept. And right over here, this is our living room space that is right in between both of the bedrooms. So space-wise, I think it's still really great. You can still fit in a three-seater as well. This is where you can put up some display stuff or even your TV as well. Then right over here is your balcony space. So this balcony is slightly bigger than the one bedders. This one kind of stretches over to the master bedroom area. Of course, you don't have access from the master bedroom space. But I think this is a really nice feature that it kind of stretches out a little bit more to the master bedroom area. Let's go check that out right now. Right, take note, this one does not have the attached bathroom because it's a two bed, one bath layout. This is the smallest layout of the two bed over here. But I think space-wise for this master bedroom is huge. King size bed, you have a side table and even space here you can still do up like an entire study area here as well. And then right over here you have your nice two panel sliding door wardrobe with the laminate finish full height as well. So plenty of storage space for this room. So now let's check out the other bedroom over here. Size-wise this one is slightly smaller than the master bedroom but space I think is still really good. You can still fit in like a single size bed. You can still fit in another study table as well. Very comfortably sized. And you have these aluminium casement windows similar to the master bedroom area. 
and these are like full panel meaning there's very good lighting that kind of comes directly into the bedroom and again full height a laminate sliding door wardrobe so now let's check out the common bathroom All right so the common bathroom over here porcelain tile finishes led down lights then we also have your sliding mirror over here storage space sliding wardrobe over here plenty of storage space over here and then right inside here space is also really great you got your rain shower your handheld shower so that wraps things up for the two bedder so let's take a look at the three bedder layout so okay now let's head into the last show flat unit type of layout we have over here this is the three bedroom type so just to break it down for the three bedroom unit types we have the 1098 square feet and a thousand 100 plus to the 1200 plus square foot unit type of layouts so just the main difference between the different type of layouts over here the bigger layouts for the three bedders they have the extra balcony space at the master bedroom area and they generally have a bigger size living and dining room set up so right over here we are in the 1098 square foot type so that means that is the smallest type of layout over here but just now i was just walking through the place i think this is a very efficient use of space over here so i think it really depends on what you're looking for quantum wise for this 1098 square foot type of layout they start from the 2.5 to the 2.6 plus million region onwards and of course the bigger type of three bedroom layouts with the extra balcony extra living and dining room space they cost at a bit of a more premium type of pricing but really depends on what you're looking for if you like the extra balcony space definitely go for the ones over there uh, actual provisions for this entire space and what really hits you when you come into this three bedroom unit is the width on the walkway entrance it's not long as well so it's still space efficient you get space to put in like a full panel mirror over here there's also this smart mirror that comes in together with the smart home feature that comes together with the units here so i think that's really great you can like kind of toggle play some music or on light switch on the electrical stuff right at your entrance you can also double up check yourself out before you head out of the house so now we come into our dining space so right now the dining comes together with this open kitchen type of concept space wise it's quite wide it comes with a six seater you can fit in a six seater over here if you tilt it over on this way i think for the dining area you can still fit in like a seven or eight seater type of setup also so now we come into this open kitchen concept that we have over here so of course this doesn't come together with the unit but this one does this island type of counter so i think the kitchen space has been really well designed depending on which is your preference you can have it in this open kitchen concept to have a very spacious feel throughout your entire living space or if you want you do a lot of heavy cooking you can still enclose back up so coming into here you have an l-shaped type of kitchen over here very nice separation you can do your food preparation over here and at the same time watch over your kids when they're studying or watching tv stuff like that then over here you have your cooking station you have your oven and your electrical cooker and a cooker hood over here so again this comes with this tempered glass panel and then right over here this one is our sink so early on we were talking about this in the one and two bedder type of layout this is a very good design as pointed out by our videographer Boni. so the function of this actually you have two levels over here so i think a lot of issues we face these days is like when you wash the dishes they just put it on the side and then the water kind of drips right over your countertop so over here you can just wash it in the main washing area place it at the side and it doesn't come out onto your kitchen tops so i think that's a really smart design and right behind in here you also have more storage space put in your cutlery chopping boards stuff like that but right back over here more pantry space this is a very nice sliding pantry space for you put your condiments and stuff like that your fridge and your freezer right at the bottom nicely tucked away together with the wooden type of design panels and then right behind here is our utility room so yeah i think there's still a good amount of space for this kind of utility space you can use it as like a storage area or if you have a helper Right, you can just input something like this, a Murphy bed, a pull down bed, and you still have provision to put in like a sliding or folding type of door over here for privacy for this space. So I think overall, this kitchen and your utility area storage space is great. A very well designed type of kitchen layout so now let's check out the living room space so back into our living room space so the unique thing about the layouts over here it has this slight v type of feature meaning that it's a bit more narrow for the entrance and then it comes in right into your living and dining room space the width is really good i think this is a very good amount of width for your living room size wise it can also fit like four seater type of couch setup you can fit in like a huge grand feature wall over here for your tv set then right over here 
when you come out of your aluminium glass doors, this one is your balcony space. So depending on the layout that you choose, this one over here has the balcony space. Some of the other layouts, they also have an additional balcony for the master bedroom space. So later on, we'll just take a look at that. But I think right now, the space over here is really good. Just looking at this, I think this can fit in like an 8 or 10 seater type of dining table if you prefer that outdoor alfresco type of dining concept. So of course, if you fit your dining table on the outside, you prefer the alfresco outdoor dining, then definitely that opens up a lot more space in your living area. You can still put in another like study area over here as well. So now let's take a look at the bedrooms. So three bedrooms over here. They come together with a different type of flooring than the one and two bedrooms. They come together with this engineered timber type of flooring that has been done up throughout the entire room. Full length cupboard as well. This is like a single size setup together with some of the IV treatment that does not come together with the unit. But if you want, this is kind of a concept that you can have more storage and display spaces, a study table right on that corner. You can still fit in like a single or super single in this room. For the other room, the other common bedroom, also very similar in terms of the size and layout. It's just a mirror image. This is what it can look like if you kind of fit a queen size bed into the bedrooms if that's what you're looking for. You want a queen size bed in all the bedrooms. Not to worry, they can definitely fit that in over here. Full length aluminium casement windows as well. And then right opposite here, we have our common bathroom. So common bathroom done similarly with the engineered countertop. This one is a bit more of a darker tone of feature and it comes together with all the porcelain tiles on the walls and the flooring. Size-wise in the shower area, a bit more of a squarish layout. I think this one is a little bit bigger than the one bedroom type of layout. So now let's head into the master bedroom. I think this is the feature of this unit for the three bedrooms over here. The master bedroom space, this is huge. You got a king size bed space for two side tables as well. And then right over here, you can do a wall feature, TV console type of setup. You can still put in like a vanity countertop right over here. Here in this 1098 square foot layout, your master bedroom does not have the balcony. If you opt for the bigger type of layouts, they have that balcony. So definitely that comes with the sliding door that you can head out onto your balcony if that's what you're looking for. If this size is really good enough for you, I think that the 1098 square foot is something that you can really consider over here at One Pearl Bank. Now let's take a look at the bathroom space before we head in there. This has a bigger amount of wardrobe space. There's a full length right along the bed over here. LED lights inside as well. You can still put in another countertop over here for you to put your accessories and stuff like that. So now we head into this attached ensuite. So in this attached ensuite for the master bedroom, size-wise is about the same as the one at your common bathroom on the outside. But I think this one is a really good amount of space for the master bedroom. For the master bathroom, right over here you have your sliding mirror. So you can just toggle that around depending on what you need to use. Storage space in there. Again, that pull-out drawer for you to put your towels and stuff. And then right inside here, good amount of shower space together with the rain shower and a handheld shower. Right, so right at this side plan, just before we head back to Kenneth, we came across this model over here for the penthouse unit. So there's four available on the market right now for the penthouses here at One Po Bank. Now two of them are on sale, both at $8.8 .8 million on the asking price. So just to run through the layout over here for the penthouses. So both of the units that are now available, uh, they are the north and the northeast facing one, meaning those are the ones that are facing towards the Perth Hill City Park. And of course, we have the penthouse, we're right at the top. The view is definitely going to be the best one that you can can get here. So some of the unique thing about the penthouses here, they are the single floor plate type of layout, meaning you don't get too much wasted space on roof terraces. Instead, what you get is very nice pockets of balcony space for your two ensuite bedrooms, your main living space, and as well as one of the common bedrooms. So total, you have four bedrooms over here. You've got two entrances. One of the entrances is for one of the attached ensuite bedrooms, and the other is the main entrance to your living room space. So I think that's a really nice touch because the extra ensuite bedroom get that extra a bit of privacy, they get to come home directly into the bedroom itself. Right over on this side, you've got three of the bedrooms and that comes together with three bathrooms. One is an attached for the master and then coming over, you have your living and dining space. You've got an open kitchen. You also have the kind of enclosed kitchen concept together with your yard and your utility WC right at the back. And as we approach right at the other end, that is your ensuite bedroom that has its private entranceway. All right, bro. So 
We're back at the site model for One Pearl Bank. Why don't we wrap up the new launch review here at one of the most massive show flight models that I've ever seen. So basically, One Pearl Bank is going to be one of the most iconic projects in the Outram Chinatown district, the District 3 area. The design of the project is very iconic. They have very intentionally conserved the initial project of Pearl Bank Apartments, which was a horseshoe kind of design. But there's also a lot of world's first concept by the architect. I I think it has also blended in very nicely into the landscaping of the Post Hill Park. Yeah, so we hope that we have shared with you some of our thoughts over here right at the show flat at One Pearl Bank. So if you want to find out more information on this, head over to our part one studio shoot where Kenneth over here is sharing with you a bit more in-depth on the pricing analysis here at One Pearl Bank, what are the units to look out for. And also can head over to our editorial page. The links are all down below. If you want to find out more or you want to come visit the show flat itself, do contact our listing team. So I'm Gavin. Kenneth. We'll catch you in the next one.